Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for a very quick and easy starstruck dishcloth pattern. I was trying to think of something fast and fun because a lot of times we like to make something that we can make in a day and then really feel like we accomplished something. This is what I'm going to call another craft show favorite. They work up quickly, they're inexpensive to make, and it's wonderful to have these projects when you're doing a craft show to just bring eye appeal into your stand. So this pattern I geared towards the 4th of July. I used red, white, and blue, and then I reversed the colors and used blue, white, and red so you can see how they look when you reverse those colors. But what's so nice about this pattern is not only can you gear it for the 4th of July, you can gear this towards Christmas, Easter. You can imagine this with red, white, and green, just perfect for the Christmas holiday season, perfect as giving as gifts. You can make them to match your own home decor, whatever your kitchen colors are. You can just use those colors in your dishcloth. So this dishcloth measures eight and one quarter inches, so it's just the perfect size, not too big, not too small. So I use the Premier Home Cotton. This is one of my favorite cotton yarns for using. It's Premier Home Cotton. It comes in 131 yards, 120 meters, 2.65 ounces, 75 grams, and it is a cotton polyester blend. It's 85% cotton, 15% polyester, and the polyester just helps keep those dishcloths looking brighter a little bit longer. Now this is classified as a four medium weight yarn. It's machine wash and dryable. I throw all my dishcloths in the washer and dryer. So the first color you're going to need is the cranberry. This is color number 3807. The next color you're going to need is color number 38-01 white. Now the third color I chose for my blue was the turquoise. I wanted a really nice bright beautiful bold blue for my dishcloths. This is color number 3812 and if you want to make them with a little bit different color blue for the 4th of July you can go ahead and do so. I just thought the turquoise was a beautiful color that just really brought a pop into this dishcloth. So again you're going to need one ounce of three different colors and you're also going to need a size H8 or 5 millimeter crochet hook. So go ahead and grab your cotton yarn, grab your hook, and let's get started. So for today's crochet tutorial I decided to do the dishcloth with the blue center and the blue outside. So I have my turquoise attached to my hook and now we're going to begin. To begin I'm going to chain four, yarn over, Pull through the loop on your hook and that creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. So that's one, two, three, and four. We're going to come over and we're going to skip the first three chain and you're going to insert into that fourth chain from hook and slip stitch to form a ring. Now you can use the magic ring if you prefer. It doesn't matter. This is just the way I always learned and it's the way I'm more comfortable doing it. So now we're going to begin round one. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Now this beginning four, the first two will count as a half double crochet and then the other two will count as our chain two. Now we're going to work our repeat. We're going to work a half double crochet into the center of the ring and then we're going to chain two. Now what I like to do is I just hold that piece of string that I have from starting and joining my yarn against my work and crocheting right over it. So to make a half double crochet you're going to yarn over, insert into the center of the ring, yarn over and pull back through that ring. You have three loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That is how you make a half double crochet. You're going to chain two, one, two, and that is the first repeat of eight. So we have to do that seven more times. 
you're going to half double crochet into the center of the ring chain two that is two of eight half double crochet back into the center of the ring chain two that is three of eight and then what I like to do is I like to keep pulling my stitches over half double crochet into the center of the ring chain two that is four of eight half double crochet back into the center of the ring chain two that is five of eight half double crochet back into the center of the ring chain two and that is six of eight two to go pull those stitches over half double crochet into the center of the ring chain two that is seven of eight you can see how it's starting to form our circle one to go half double crochet back into the center of the ring chain two and that is eight of eight so you have your beginning chain four you have a half double crochet chain two eight times one two three four five six seven eight you're ending with that chain two and now we're going to join into the second chain of that beginning chain four so count up one two insert into that second chain and we're going to slip stitch yarn over pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook round one is finished so now we're ready to begin round two so round two we're going to slip stitch into this first chain two space we're only working into the chain two spaces for this round so insert into that very first chain two space and slip stitch this is just getting your hook in position to have your stitches in the center of that chain two space we're going to work a bobble stitch in this round so let me walk you through the steps of making a bobble stitch we're going to yarn over the hook you're going to insert into the chain two space yarn over and pull back through and you're going to do that a total of three times and you're going to just pull those loops up so that's one yarn over insert back into that chain two space yarn over and pull through that's two yarn over insert back into that chain two space yarn over and pull back through and that is three so when you look at your hook you're going to have one two three four five six seven loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops on your hook that is how you're doing your bobble stitch now we're going to chain two one two so now we're going to go ahead and start the repeat again we're only working in the chain two spaces around you're going to skip that next stitch and we're going to work a bobble stitch into the next chain two space so let me show you again you're going to yarn over insert into the chain two space yarn over and pull through you have three loops on your hook yarn over insert back into that same chain two space yarn over and pull through you now have five loops on your hook yarn over insert back into that same chain two space yarn over and pull through you have seven loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all seven loops on your hook your bobble stitch is made you're going to chain two one two and that is the end of the repeat so let's do it a couple more times so you get the hang of doing that bobble stitch again this is the start of the repeat you're going to yarn over insert into the next chain two space yarn over and pull back through you have three loops yarn over insert back into that chain two space yarn over and pull through you now have five loops on your hook 
you're going to yarn over, insert back into the same chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You have a total of seven loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and what I do is I pull up on my hook and then I pull it through so it helps get that hook through all those loops. You're going to chain two and that is the end of the repeat. I'm going to show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain two space, yarn over and pull back through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into that chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert back into the same chain two space, yarn over and pull through. You have seven loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops on the hook. You're going to chain two. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue working around. You're going to work a bobble stitch into the next chain two space, chain two. Bobble stitch in the next chain two space, chain two. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. This is what your work should look like. You should have a total of nine bobble stitches and nine chain two spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you're ending with a chain two. So now we're going to join our round with the slip stitch into the top of that beginning bobble stitch. So when you look at your stitch, if you pull up, you're going to see this little space at the top left of that stitch. Insert into the top left of that stitch and slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. So now I'm going to go ahead and fasten off and I like to leave a little bit longer length. Don't make it too short. I chain two, pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, grab the yarn, pinch, pull down and it creates a secure knot. So now what I'm going to do for round two is I'll just hold my yarn right up against my work and I'm going to crochet over this end of where I fastened off and this helps weave your ends in so it just cuts down on all those ends you have to weave in when you get your dishcloth finished. So now I'm going to grab my white and we're going to go ahead and start round three. I have my white attached to my hook and I just used the double knot. So now for round three, we're only going to be working into the chain two spaces around. So I'm going to take the blue yarn that I fastened off and I'm going to hold it up against my work. And then I'm going to join my white yarn into the beginning chain two space. Insert underneath the chain two space, yarn over the hook, pull it through the chain two space and pull it through the loop on your hook. And this just creates a secure join. So now I'm going to take the white strand of where I started and the blue strand, hold them both up against my work, and then I'm going to crochet over both of those ends. We're going to begin with a chain three. One, two, three. This beginning chain three will count as the first double crochet. Now we're going to work four more double crochet into this same beginning chain two space. Yarn over, insert into that same chain two space, work four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. So when you look at your work, your beginning chain three will count as the first double crochet and then you have four more double crochet for a total of five double crochet stitches. So now for our repeat, we're going to work five double crochet in each chain two space around. So let's go ahead and begin. Yarn over, insert into the next chain two space and I'm going under the chain two space and under those two strands of yarn and I'm going to work five double crochet all into that same chain two space. One, two, three, four, 
and five. So when you look at your work, we have five double crochet stitches in that chain two space. So now we're going to do it again. You're going to skip the bobble stitch and work five double crochet into that next chain two space. One, and again, I'm going underneath the chain two space and underneath those two strands of yarn, working my second double crochet. three, four, and five. So again, when you look at your work, you're going to have five double crochet stitches in the chain two space. So let's do it together one more time. You're going to skip the bobble stitch and work five double crochet into the next chain two space. Yarn over, insert into the chain two space, work five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. So when you look at your work, we worked five double crochet into that chain two space. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next bobble stitch, work five double crochet in each chain two space around, and I'll meet you at the end of round three. I'm over at the end of round three. This is what your work should look like. You should have five double crochet in each chain two space around. We're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three, insert into the top of your beginning chain three, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So round three is finished and we're going to jump right in and start round four. Round four, we're going to start with the chain three. And again, our beginning chain three will count as the first double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet back into the top of this joining chain. You're going to yarn over and this may be tight, insert right back into that same chain that you joined the round work a double crochet. So you have your beginning chain three and a double crochet into the top of that beginning chain three of the previous round. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. You're going to yarn over and make sure you insert under the top two loops. When I crochet, I always go under the top two loops unless otherwise stated work your double crochet. That's one. Double crochet into the next stitch. And that's two. So now we're going to start the repeat. The repeat, we're going to work two double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So let's go ahead and start the repeat. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, work two double crochet. One, insert back into that same stitch, work your second double crochet. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. There's one, double crochet into the next stitch, and that is two. So again, the repeat two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So let's do it again. Two double crochet into the next stitch. One, double crochet back into that same stitch. And that's two double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it one more time. 
two double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet back into that same stitch that's two double crochet into the next stitch and then double crochet into the next stitch so very simple repeat again you're going to work two double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next two stitches if you need help click back on the video repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round four so round four is finished this is what your dishcloth should look like so far you should have a total of 60 double crochet around and that's counting your beginning chain three so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to join my red before I join my round I'm going to carry my white up the back of my work because I still need the white for another round so now we're going to just tie our red on to the back side of our work so I'm just going to tie my red around my white strand of yarn and I just use a double knot for everything I just make sure it's nice and secure so I tie a double knot and you can use whichever method you prefer to join this is how I do it and then I just slide my red right down against my hook so now since my red yarn is attached I'm just going to drop my white yarn and just let it hang in the back you're going to insert your hook into the top of that beginning chain three and then find your red where you attached and I'm going to leave my ends hang and I will be weaving these in later I'm going to yarn over the hook and pull it through that chain top of that chain three and then through the loop on my hook and it just lets your white finish that stitch and then your red is ready to start the next round so this is also a really easy round we're going to be learning how to do the front post double crochet if you don't know how to do it very simple stitch we're going to start with the chain three one two three the beginning chain three will count as our first double crochet so now we're going to work a front post double crochet you're going to yarn over you're going to insert on the side of the stitch and insert from front to back and then bring your hook from back to front so you're just putting your hook underneath the post of that stitch and the front post means you're working your stitch around the front of that stitch you're going to yarn over pull underneath and around the post of the stitch and then work your double crochet yarn over pull through two loops only yarn over and pull through two loops you just made your front post double crochet so that's how easy it is to do and I'll work it several times with you so now we're going to start the repeat you're going to double crochet into the top of the next stitch yarn over insert under the top two loops of the next stitch work a double crochet now we're going to work the front post double crochet around the next stitch yarn over insert from front to back you're going all the way back and then you're going to come back from the back to the front so you're just going underneath the post of the stitch and then work your double crochet yarn over bring it underneath and around that post yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two loops you just made your front post double crochet and that is the end of the repeat so let's do it again find your next stitch you're going to work a double crochet into the top of the next stitch we're going to work a front post double around the post of the next stitch yarn over insert from front to back back to front underneath the post of that stitch work a double crochet yarn over pull underneath and around that stitch yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops that is the end of the repeat so I'll do it a couple more times with you again you're going to double crochet into the top of the next stitch yarn over insert under the top two loops work a double crochet 
Now we're going to work a front post double crochet into the next stitch, insert from front to back around the post of that stitch and then from back to front. You're just going underneath the post, work your double crochet. Yarn over, pull underneath and around, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. That is the end of the repeat. So let's work it one more time together. Double crochet into the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of this next stitch. Yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch. Work your double crochet. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch front post into the next stitch and you're going to repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at the end of round five. This is what your dishcloth should look like. You worked a chain three for the first double crochet and then you worked a front post double crochet, double crochet and front post and you repeated that around. You should have a total of 60 stitches around your work and now we're getting ready to join. So we're done with our red, so we're going to pick up our dropped white. So you're going to count up to the top of the chain three, one, two, three, insert your hook into the top of that beginning chain three. So you're going to drop your red, find your white strand of yarn and then pull your white through. So now I'm just going to flip my dishcloth over and I'm going to take my red strand and I'm going to fasten off. And then what I do is I just come up and I'm just going to tie it right to my white strand. And again, I use double knot. And then I'll weave my ends in when I'm all finished with my dishcloth. So I just tie that, let that red hang in the back, weave that in later, or you can weave your ends in as you go. So now we're ready to begin round six. So round six, we're going to be doing the same technique. We're going to begin with the chain three, one, two, and three. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet. That's your next stitch. And when you work that stitch, make sure that you're only going underneath the post of the stitch and not catching any of these stitches here below. So let's begin. Yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch. Work your double crochet. Yarn over, pull underneath and around that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops, just like the round before, only we're going in the front post double crochet. So let's begin the repeat. You're going to double crochet into the top of the next double crochet stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of the next front post double crochet. Yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch. Work your front post double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it a couple more times. Double crochet into the top of the next double crochet stitch. Front post double crochet around this next stitch. Yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front underneath the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull through and around that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post double crochet. Let's do it again. Double crochet into the next stitch. Front post double crochet around this next front post double crochet. Yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post double crochet. So same technique as the previous round. So go ahead and continue. 
double crochet into the next stitch, front post double crochet around the post of this next front post double crochet, repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round six. I'm over at the end of round six. We just worked a double crochet in each double crochet and a front post double crochet in each front post double crochet around. You have a total of 60 stitches and now we're ready to join. So we're finished with the white, so we're going to count up to the top of that beginning chain. Three, one, two, three. Insert into the top of that chain and we're going to slip stitch the round together. And now since we're done with the white, I'm just going to go ahead and fasten off. And I always suggest leaving a little bit longer length because when you're using that yarn needle, it really helps to have that little bit of extra yarn to really secure it on the back and weave in those ends. I usually chain two, pull my hook up and out, grab the yarn, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. Now, if you have a different way of fastening off, then by all means, use your preferred method of fastening off. So now we're going to finish our dishcloth. We have two more rounds. So I'm going to grab my blue and we're going to start round seven. So I have my blue attached to my hook and I don't want to confuse anybody, but it is the turquoise. I say blue, but uh, I do have my turquoise attached to my hook. I just have a double knot and you can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn. I'm going to go back up to the top of my beginning chain three. I'm going to insert right into that same top chain where I fastened off and it may be a little tight. So get your hook in there and then slip stitch through the top of that beginning chain three chain and through the loop on your hook. And that just creates a nice secure join. So to begin the round, we're going to chain three, one, two, three. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. Now we're going to work one more double crochet back into that same chain. So yarn over, insert back into the same chain that you had your starting chain three, work a double crochet. So we have our chain three and a double crochet into that top of that joining stitch. We're going to work a front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. Yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around that stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your front post double crochet. Now the difference between this round and these other rounds we did is we're going to be adding one extra stitch in each double crochet to increase our stitch count because if we don't this will just curl up into a bowl shape. We need to increase stitches so it continues to lay flat. So let's go ahead and start the repeat. You're going to work two double crochet into the top of the next double crochet. Yarn over, insert under the top two loops of that next double crochet stitch. Work two double crochet. One. And two. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. Yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And that is the end of the repeat. So by now you know how to work a front post double crochet. So I'm not going to explain each detail of the stitch. I'm just going to work the stitch. So let's go ahead and do the repeat again. You're going to work two double crochet into the top of the next double crochet stitch. One. And two. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Two double crochet into the next stitch. One. 
and 2. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So I'll do it one more time with you and then you can continue on your own. You're going to work two double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. One. And two. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work two double crochet into the next double crochet stitch and then a front post double crochet into that next front post double crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven. We just work two double crochet in each double crochet stitch and one front post double crochet in each front post double crochet stitch. And when you look at your dishcloth, you can see how nice it lays nice and flat. Now I do have my ends underneath here, so please disregard those ends when they're showing through the dishcloth. We're going to go up and we're going to join with a slip stitch right in the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three. Insert into that top chain and slip stitch. So round seven is finished and now all we have to do is put our little single crochet shell stitches around for our finish edging. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to skip this first joining stitch. We're going to slip stitch into this next double crochet. Insert under the top two loops. Yarn over, pull through those two loops and pull through the loop on your hook. Now we're ready to begin round eight and we're only working in the front post double crochet stitches. So we're going to start with our single crochet shell. We're going to insert into the top of that front post double crochet right under the top two loops. Work a single crochet. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, Insert back into the same space up at the top of that front post double crochet. Work a single crochet. So we just made our single crochet, chain three, single crochet shell in the top of the front post double crochet. So now we're ready to start the repeat. You're going to skip the next two double crochet. Insert into the top of that next front post double crochet. You're going right into the top under the top two loops. Work a single crochet. Chain three. Insert back into that same stitch. Work a single crochet. Your single crochet shell is made. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. Skip the next two double crochet. Insert into the top of the next front post double crochet. Work a single crochet. Chain three. Insert back into that same stitch. Work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So I'll show you one more time. Pretty simple repeat. You're going to skip the next two double crochet. Insert into the next stitch going under the top two loops work a single crochet, chain three, insert back into the top of that same stitch and work a single crochet. And you can see how your single crochet shell stitch is putting the perfect edging on this dishcloth. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next two double crochet. Into the next stitch you're going to work a single crochet chain three single crochet into the top of that front post double crochet. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round eight. 
I'm over at the end of round eight. This is what your dishcloth looks like. You worked a single crochet, chain three single crochet into the top of each front post double crochet around. And now we're going to go ahead and join. You're going to come over to the first single crochet of the first shell, insert under the top two loops, and we're going to slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. I'm going to go ahead and fasten off again. Make sure you leave a little bit longer length. Now, because this is a dishcloth, you really want to make sure you secure those ends on the back. So when you flip it over, what I like to do is I really like to go back and forth in between these stitches and then I come back through and then I go through a third time because you're going to be scrubbing those dishes and sometimes those ends come loose. So really make sure they're nice and secure in the back. So our dishcloth is finished. This is what the front looks like. And when you turn it over, this is what the wrong side looks like. Again, I geared this one for the 4th of July because the 4th of July will be coming up soon. I used the turquoise for the center, white, and then cranberry for the red, for red, white, and blue. And then I made a second one where I just used opposite colors and I used the cranberry for the red for the center and then I used the turquoise here as an accent and then I brought that cranberry color back out. You can also take that white and bring the white out and do that last round with white and really make it pop with that bright white color. You can change the colors and these would be perfect for Christmas holiday gifts using red, white, and green. You can also change these colors and make them look floral by maybe using pink, yellow, lavender, and then just putting a beautiful color of your choice in the center, and then just use different colors on the outside. All kinds of possibilities with this pattern to put your own spin on it. Now we do have the written PDF instructions available on our website. You can just go to creativegrandma.net and you can review all the patterns we have available. I hope this video has got you inspired today to make a dishcloth. So until next time, happy crocheting everyone.